Hello, this is Drake of Flame 67 with another episode of Let's Play Skyrim Racelock, the Imperial Imperial. Last time, we took on the battle at Fort Greenwall, beat it on my second try, uh, and then we came back to Solitude, reported to Tullius, and also got uh, probably the last bit of uh, training from Sapil that I'm going to do. Uh, though I would still like my destruction to get to 60 by the end of this. Um, anyway, what we have to do now is we need to regain Winterhold hold and uh, report to Rika at the um, Winterhold Imperial camp. But before that, last part, I think I got uh, two counts of assault because I used Voice of the Emperor to calm down the guards, or the Stormcloak soldiers, at Fort Greenwall, and while they weren't hostile, I attacked them. Uh, I, for some reason, that counted as assault. Uh, either way, it probably is in character, or it probably is lore friendly to count that as a war crime, and I kind of want to deal with that bounty before continuing on with the Civil War. So I'm going to fast travel to Ripton, and I hope to be able to pay off my bounty. If those white runs stay out of trouble, Imperial. If you're looking to settle in Ripton, there's a house for sale. Honey's. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, my current bounty is uh, 80. But, uh, oh, there's a dragon. Probably shouldn't have come here. Or maybe it's. Or maybe because uh, the storm cloaks have been. Maybe because the Imperials took over, they erased my bounty, and maybe I'd have to go to a Stormcloak sympathetic Riften guard. Pay it off. Dragon, get back here. Okay, well, the dragon just flew away. Probably wasn't. Still keeping me from. Oh, it seems like it's far enough away. I'll just uh, fast travel to. Well, it says the uh, Winterhold Imperial Camp. It's apparently fairly close to Dawnstar, so. I'll go there. See the Imperial Guards. Damn Stormcloak rebels. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. Okay, it seems like oh now the legates have moved in. Okay, that gives me an idea. I think maybe after actually winning the Civil War, I'll take it I'll take a tour of the uh, cities with replaced uh, Jarls and uh, give and uh, talk to uh, the replacement Jarls and the characters in the cities that 
have things to say about how uh, Skyrim has changed with uh, under Imperial control. Here's the Winterhold Imperial Camp. And let's talk to Rika. Something to report? The General and I have our disagreements, but he's the best hope for both the Empire and Skyrim. Reporting for duty. Your objective is Fort Kastav. The Rebels are keeping some of our men prisoner there. I aim to turn that into an advantage. I've sent men to scout out the area. You are to meet them, find a way to slip in, free our men, and take over the fort. They won't be expecting an attack from the inside. This won't be easy, but that's why I'm sending you. Think you can handle it? I think I can't handle. Show the rebels the futility of their cause. Now, there'll be four cast out, but, uh... I think I might want to hold off on that. I kind of want to at least go to Winterhold before the Imperials take over. It's like the other... Um, yeah, because like, uh, the Pale required us to go to Dawnstar, uh, the Rift required us to go to Riften. Uh, I don't know if uh, taking Winterhold whole will require us to go to Winterhold. So I'm going to fast travel to White Run and take the carriage there. There also might be something I want to do uh, in Winterhold Hold while I'm here. I can take you to any of Where do you want to go? To me, Winterhold. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Couldn't ask for better weather. Yeah, I'll talk. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? What's your business here in Winterhold? Uh, just passing through. Stay clear of that college, if you know what's good for you. Nothing but foul deeds behind those walls. What's wrong with the college? Look around you. Winterhold is in this state because of those damn mages. They sit up there in their tower, doing gods know what, and who watches over them? The guards don't even dare go up there, unless they've no choice. All right, then. Yeah, they're reforming the Dawn God. Anyway. What do you need? Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet rose? Or taking Winterhold hold. There is one quest I want to do. Here.
I've noticed in this playthrough, there have been several occasions where I just don't have any soul gems to enchant, and now my enchanting is actually high enough that... make sure I always have a soul gem on me. So, and there is one quest that will give us a refillable soul gem. I'm gonna need Here's the Shrine of Zora. Hello. Azura has seen your coming, traveler. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. See my coming? What do you mean? Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I had a vision of you walking up the steps to this altar, long before you were born. You have been chosen to be her champion. I know it is unexpected, but do not worry. It will all unfold as she has predicted. Very well. What does Azura need? You must go to a fortress, endangered by water, yet untouched by Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. Right. This has all been foreseen, and we must play our Okay, so... So we need to go to Winterhold. Exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This 
this is why people have a problem with your college, Nilakar. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't bother asking. My days at the college are long behind me, but I prefer to stay close by. Mm-hmm. Dagor and I have an understanding. He gives me privacy, and I make sure my experiments don't blow up his inn. I'm looking for an elven mage who studies stars. Who sent you? Was it the college? The Jarl? We agreed there would be no more questions. Priestess of Azora sent me. You're working with the Daedra? Right. Now tell me the one about the Argonian maid and the lusty baron. I didn't agree to anything. Talk. Just calm down. I'll tell you everything. But what do you know? Uh, they're for enchanting, correct? They are. Except the gem is always consumed. They're frail. Except for one. Azura's star. A Daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. What did Malin do? Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying. Disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside. Become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Illinolta's Deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azora. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. Until next time. Alright, so we need to Unless find Azora's you're bringing star. me another round, you can just keep walking. Now... They're sending us to a place called Illinolta's Deep, which is... So basically, if we go to Riverwood and just uh, follow the river up to here, we'll get there. Uh, but before going in, I want to do two things. One, I want to change my Standing Stone, uh, because I've noticed that my 20% magic resist is just uh, not enough for really... Uh, strong drag uh, for like dragons and high and highly powered magical opponents. Uh, that was that was something also I learned in Foral Host off screen. Uh, and I think I'm gonna want a follower to help with the fights. So first thing I'm gonna do is there's. Something in the East March I want momentarily. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go to East March for the you know, for the follower. I'm gonna go back into Windhelm. And I think because we completed Rise in the East, uh, Adeleza uh, uh, can become a follower. I think I'm going to bring her along. So we go to the Empire Company. Think she'll I can't think she'll she be here. Huh? Vlad Orthus was able to find someone competent to help out. You handled yourself pretty well back at Jaffet's Folly. We'll remember that. Follow me, I need your help. Let's not waste any time. South into so 
want to go south into the, uh, basically the area between Windhelm and the Rift. I'm going to want to pick up a particular standing stone that will, uh, at least momentarily, at least for this quest, I'll put it back onto Steed, uh, once I'm finished with uh, the Black Star quest. Southeast. Morning to you too. Hmm. 
I mean, you're probably in the warmest place in Skyrim, considering you feel there's no problems with going into a hot spring near naked. Anyway, there's that standing stone over there. Here's the Atronach Stone. This is uh, what I came here to get. Those under the sign of the Atronach absorb a portion of incoming spell damage and have a larger pool of magicka but recover it more slowly. So I've temporarily given up uh, the Steed Stone for the Atronach Stone. This uh, means that we have 50 more points of Magicka, uh, and we have 50% spell absorption. So half the time... So yeah, so whenever uh, a spell hits us, there is a 1 in 2 chance that the spell will not do any damage, and instead we will absorb that Magicka. But the trade-off is our Magicka regenerates 50% uh, slower, so it takes twice as long to recover. I think uh, I think it's well worth it. Uh, in fact, for a couple of these uh, playthroughs coming up, I will be use, making use of the Astronaut Stone full-time. But for this one, uh, I'm just going to be doing it for uh, this particular quest, because there are a lot of mages. Uh, hopefully, I can uh, fast travel the Riverwood. Nope. Can't fast travel while enemies are nearby. Pretty sure it's that dragon that's stopping us. So let's go and take it out. I think I will end the part uh, after fighting this dragon.
we go. Let's heal. Oh, yep. Okay. Let's, uh, can't loot as much stuff now. So let's just, uh, store some of these bones. Yeah. Actually, I need to sell them off, too. Okay, well, with that dragon defeated, uh, I think I will end the part here. Uh, we have a follower with us to help us with battles. We have temporarily taken on the Atronax Stone so uh, to help us deal with magic opponents. Um, and we took on a dragon. This is a good place to stop. Uh, for now, this has been Draco Flame 67 with Let's Play Skyrim Racelock, the Imperial Imperial. See you next time.